All right, and we're live. What is going on, everybody? My name is Caden Hayward. I hope you all had an amazing, amazing weekend. On today's training, what we're going to be going over is this is going to be for those who feel like you, if you know what you need to do, like you have all the knowledge and everything. It's not about the knowledge, but it's more so about putting it all together. You know, this is going to be for you if you know. You know how to lose the weight, you know the basics and everything, but for some reason you just can't get things together or if you're still struggling to see results um, or if you can't make a permanent change. If that is you, then this is going to be the training you're going to want to watch today, okay? So I just want to say this might ruffle a few people's feathers here, but I'm going to do my best to explain everything to make this all 100% make sense and help you get on the right track with losing this weight and keeping it on. So again, why you can't lose weight even though you know exactly what to do. Let's break it down. So as always, if you have any questions as I'm going on, make sure you comment down below so I can answer you as we are here and I can definitely help you. So let's dive into it. First of all, I just want to point this out is that when it comes to doing this, you know, it truly is like the little things that matter most. The little things are the ones that are going to produce the dramatic, dramatic results. I promise you might sound crazy, but it's the truth. It's the little things that matter, those little daily things. So when it comes to doing this, you know, one of the biggest things I saw, and I did a post on this this morning, is like when someone has all the knowledge, like they know what to do, yet they're still not seeing the result they want, it's mostly about, uh, it's usually split into two things, okay? So either if they're just stuck because they don't even know how to start because it's like analysis paralysis where you have too much information, and therefore, you don't start at all because you don't know how to even start in the first place because you just feel so lost with all the information out there and it's overwhelming. Um, or the second one is actually sticking with it when you do start something and then sticking with it to the point where you can build those habits and, and make those permanent switches happen. So that's what we're going to talk about is when you have all the knowledge, how do we put it all together in a way and actually stay with it long term? Okay, so... I'm just going to make a note here real quick. So, okay, so, okay, so first of all, when, when it comes to analysis paralysis, the, what I mean by that is, like, let's say, you know, you've, you study nutrition or whatever it may be, you know all the information, you're watching all my stuff, and you kind of know what to do, but... Maybe you know too much. Maybe there's actually like too many, too many uh, people you're watching online, too many people trying to tell you all these different things of what you should do, too many different ways of eating, diets, planning, little bits and pieces here and there, and it gets way overwhelming, and then you don't even know where to start, so you don't start at all. If that's your case, I would recommend you, plain and simple, cut out 90% of the crap that they tell you and just focus on the basics that you need to actually get the result you want, okay? So just stick with the basics calorie deficit, you know, having some sort of way to structure, track your calories, the high protein, you know what you need to do, you know what are the main things, just stick with those and make that happen, okay, and rather than try to get everything perfect. You can do that over time when you build the mindset to be able to maintain it, but first just stick to the very basics and that's it. But most importantly, jumping into this, we're going to cover here a, a few main specific points that are kind of covered to those two type of people, okay? So first and foremost, you know, when, when it comes to knowing, you know, what you need to do, but just doing it, the first thing is that, you know, what I find is that maybe it's just not important enough to you, okay? Maybe this is not important enough to you, so therefore it's so easy for you just to not take it serious, right? It's like, you tell yourself, I want to lose some weight, I want to get some healthier. I want to get healthier, but that's it. Like there's no, there's no depth behind it. So it's like when it comes to someone, you know, let's say your, your partner brings home some snacks after work and you're like, ah, oh, you know, what? I'm only gonna have a beer or I'm only going to have chocolate on the weekend. Um, that's part of my plan, but they bring it home during the week and you have kids and your mental willpower is completely drained at the end of the day. And it's right there in front of your face and you give into it. OK, and then what happens is you fall off the plan because you already gave into it. And it's like, OK, the plan is over now. Boom, well, the cycle continues. So that's what a result of one of the things is it not being important enough to you. OK, if if you truly cared enough about it, you wouldn't have done that. For example, quick analogy. If someone was like, OK, 
Um, I'll give you a million dollars if you do one week and not give him chocolate or drinking or anything like that and stick to your nutrition planning. Are you going to give into that beer at nighttime? Are you going to give into, are you going to give him that chocolate that your partner brought home and, and follow the plan? No, of course not, because you have a strong reason why you shouldn't do it. Okay. So you need to have an important enough reason. That's like the number one that we got to start out here. If you want to make this permanent change happen, you have to have a strong enough reason to do it in the first place. Otherwise, what's going to happen is that, you know, life gets so hectic. Okay. Things get so out of hand and, and this is why we fall back into our old habits so easily. And this is why we are creatures of habit in the first place is that we want to conserve our energy. And that's why we, we, we create these habits, almost like programs, and we just stick to them. So if it's not important enough to you lose this weight, you're going to fall back into your old habits and ways just like that. It's gonna, you're going to easily forget about it. Something's going to come up. Your kids are going to get sick. Your goals are going to go out the window and then back to square one. Okay, so it's got to be important enough to you. You got to get real with yourself and you have to have an important enough reason of why you truly actually want to make this change. And the best way to do so is just keep asking yourself why. Why do I want to make this change? Okay, I want to lose weight. Why do I want to lose weight? I want to look and feel better. Why do I want to look and feel better? Because I'm insecure. Why am I insecure? And just keep asking yourself. And you want to get really real with yourself and get an actual important enough reason to keep going. So that way when things get tough, when you have temptations, cravings, all of that, you have a reason to help keep you stable and to work around it and keep aligned with your goals. Now, to add on to that is that you need to have this written out or you need to have it somewhere in front of your face, something to be a constant reminder. This is why accountability is like super awesome because it's always a reminder. It's keeping you on track constantly so you don't forget about it, okay? Because, you know, I, I'm, I'm sure some of you might have can relate to this. Is like maybe you tell yourself like on a Monday, okay, I'm going to start losing weight. I want to lose this 30 pounds. I got to do this. The doctor said I got to lose this weight. You'll go, 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 go. And every, next thing you know, Two weeks from now, you almost completely forgot that you even set that goal. It's like you're back to square one again. You completely even forgot about it. And the reason why is because, again, life gets so hectic. You didn't write your goals down. You completely forgot about it. You go right back to your old ways, your old habits. So this is why we got to have an actual written down plan. We got to know why it's important to enough, enough for us. And that's like the basis. That's like the start. And I can't emphasize it enough. It is so, so important that we do this. Okay. So now the next thing is analysis paralysis so we cannot get caught up with all the information i recommend you know go unfollow a lot of the people you follow because a lot of times there's too much information out there they're going to knock you off track you're going to have your solid plan routine maybe you'll have one bad week and then you'll find out someone's telling you something else to try and you'll go that way and try it for a week no results you'll try something else so have one plan one approach and stick with that just know it works okay don't stress yourself out with all the information out there now the next thing is a plan itself. So we need structure in place. You might have all the knowledge out there, but it's not put together into a proper plan. So it means nothing. It doesn't matter. You know, knowledge, you can have all the knowledge in the world, but if you don't do anything with it, then it doesn't matter. So you have to have a proper plan and structure in place when it comes to your weight loss. If you seriously want to see results happen. Okay. So take the knowledge that you do have, create that into a plan for yourself I promise you it will cause a lot of changes. It will help dramatically. So build that structure. When I say structure, it's like a consistent workout routine, same with the nutrition plan, meal plan, everything in that. Now, this is why a coach or whatever a professional help can help so much is because, you know, with your hectic lifestyle, you don't have to worry about it. They'll make the whole plan for you. They'll take away all the chaos and the overwhelm thoughts. And you just follow the plan. So after we get the structure, though, the next thing that you can do is when it comes to your goals, you want to set specific goals. OK, I just want to touch on this one one more time. Set specific goals, realistic goals for yourself that you actually know are attainable and that you can work towards because you don't want to get yourself overwhelmed with the crazy goal. And you also don't want to get yourself discouraged when you don't accomplish that goal. OK, so next the next thing I see here with people who tend to, you know, know a lot of the weight loss and what to do. Um, but are still struggling is that they don't make themselves a priority. Okay. And this ties back to it not being important enough to you got to be important. You got to make yourself a priority because you got to spend that time in yourself. You got to make that time work for yourself and put that time into yourself to make this change happen. Just because you want to change or just because you sign up for a program, whatever it may be, it doesn't mean you will change. You have to want it for yourself as well. Bad enough. Okay. 
And, and that's something um, that really ties into what I mentioned before about it being important enough for you to do. Okay. So the next thing is that um, simple slip ups. Okay. So the simple slip ups is another thing I see here for a lot of people who kind of know what they, uh, they, they know what they need to do, but they're not losing the weight is the slip ups. And that means, you know, giving into those little temptations, the cravings, the, the big cheat meals on the weekends, maybe a little binge here and there, whatever it may be. Those little things that you think don't matter, they matter. Okay, they matter a ton. And the reason why is because let's say on uh, let's say you do pretty good all week, you lost your you're, you're about to lose a pound or so. But then you end up eating an extra 3,500 calories on the weekend. And next thing you know, you're not losing any weight at all from that past week. So from Monday to Friday, you did amazing. But all that work's not going to matter if on Saturday and Sunday, you absolutely sabotage your plan, you fall off and go back into those old habits then there's no result that's going to come in play. So we have to watch out for the little things there. We have to have that proper balance in play. And that's why, again, it's important to have a proper plan and structure in place. Okay. So the next thing is proper mindset behind it. So the proper mindset behind it. So it's all about removing that short term, you know, satisfaction feeling. Like, for example, when you give in those temptations, those sweets, those chocolates and stuff, I know they're so good. They're delicious. They taste amazing. We want them. They're supposed to because they're full of sugar. They're full of addictive chemicals and, 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 and ingredients added into these foods that get you to want to eat them. Okay. If you never knew what they tasted like, it would just be like a, a glob of chocolate for you. You wouldn't know. So you wouldn't care. But you know what it tastes like? That sugar addiction is there as well. Sugar is highly addictive. So once that's in your face, it's just turned on. It's like, okay, I want to eat it. I want to eat. I want to eat. I just want to devour it. And once you taste it, you just want more and more and more and more. Okay. So what happens there is that you just got to understand is that if you're just willing to not give into that little quick temptation right then and there, you'll be fine. Because after when you go eat something else, whatever it may be, it's completely gone. And eventually you keep doing that. You keep building that discipline in place. What's going to happen is that you're not even a want anymore in the first place because you're going to understand that, hey, I feel a lot better without this. That is just a short term temptation to make me feel good for about 10 seconds when I'm shoving it down my face. But then after I feel like crap, I don't feel. Okay, there we go. We're back. So it, that takes time, but it's all about not giving into that. Hey, Angela, how are you doing? Um, so habits to build, okay? So that's another one, and then having the right mindset behind it, you know, that long-term, um, that long uh, uh, delayed gratification is one of the most important ones when it comes to losing this weight. But many, many things go into this when you're trying to lose and keep weight off permanently, and you got to have the right mindset behind it as well. You know, progress or perfection, okay? You got to be real with yourself and keep yourself accountable and understand I am where I'm at because simply myself, there's no other reason. I am stuck here. I have this 30, 40 pounds to lose because of my, me. It's all up to me. If I want to change, I have to take action. If I want to change, I got to be the one who's going to change. Nothing will ever change unless I change, okay? How you feel, struggling with this, not liking what your body is, going from diet to diet, this cycle is going to continue until you don't allow it to continue. OK, at the end of the day, it's all up to us. We must take accountability 100 percent when it comes to our outcomes and the actions we take and everything that's going on. OK, so that is super key. OK, is having the proper mindset when it comes to losing weight and making these changes. So progress or perfection is a huge, huge one. You always want to focus on progress. You want to focus on improvement, self-development, just getting yourself better, not trying to be Perfect. Not trying to be this professional bodybuilder overnight. Just try to get better over time. And I know, and this and this this lies back into the um, delayed gratification. Okay, because you might not have it at first. You might want that result instantly and everything, but you got to understand that results won't come overnight. I always tell my clients stuff. You know, the way we're going to set up your plan is that it's going to be very easy, sustainable to follow, but you're not going to lose ten to twenty pounds a week. Okay, you're not going to do. Because I know what it, that that is not what's best for you. You may want that short term, but that's not what's best for you. You're going to crash metabolism. You're going to starve yourself. You're going to have to eat like a, a rabbit, and it's not going to be fun, and it's not going to be sustainable long term. So there's no point in even doing it in the first place. So we have to have the right mindset 
behind our weight loss when it comes to doing this. Understanding that, you know what, it took a lot of time for this weight to come on, okay? It might take a few months to come off. But in those few months, I'm going to build the proper habits, the proper discipline, and the proper mindset to maintain this for the next five years, 10, 20 plus years, so I never have to worry about this again right now, okay? And remember, you might think this is hard right now. You yourself might think this is hard right now, but the future you who has lost that 30 pounds, who has made those changes, who is off the blood pressure pills, it's not hard for them because that is who they are. They identify as that. You choose your heart. And what I mean by that, to break it down even farther, because we all know the term of like choose your heart isn't like the heart of like having no energy, struggling with this extra weight in your body, which affects so many more things, or putting in the work, 30 minute workouts, three times a week, you know, making those kind of changes. Choose your heart, right? But there's also choosing the heart of, um, Oh, I completely lost it, but oh well, it'll, it'll come back here later if if it if it wants to. <laughs> but ultimately, yeah. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, it came back. So choosing your heart, as in like you got to decide if it's hard or not. You know, it's up to you. It's like you can tell yourself, you, you can program yourself in certain ways of non-negotiables. Like, okay, so this is just who I am. I work out five times per week. It's not hard. It's not easy. It's just what I do. Okay. There's no emotion behind it. There's no if, and, or bust. It's just like brushing my teeth. This is just what I do, okay? It's just part of my routine. So that being said, you might feel like it's hard right now. You might feel like it's impossible right now, but that is who you are right now. If you want to change, you have to identify as the person who you're going to become, and you have to match their actions and habits, and that's all up to you, okay? And remember, if we do not take action on it, if we don't make those changes, nothing changes. So we can't complain because it's all up to us. So if you're strong with your body, if you're complaining about how you're looking and feeling like that, just know that it's up to you at the end of the day. And if you want to change, it's you that has to put in that work, take that action, and the changes will happen. You just got to stay consistent with it and you can do it. Okay? Have a strong enough reason why to make this change happen. Okay. So the next thing is discipline. So another thing I want to touch on is discipline. Discipline is going to allow you to never have to worry about this ever again. Discipline is the highest form of self-love. It's choosing of what you should do versus what you want to do in the moment. And that ties back into that little donut on the counter there that you're giving into, even though you know you shouldn't be giving into. What you're doing is you're not only getting off your weight loss goals, but you're disrespecting yourself as well because you're like, I don't want to do this. But I'm going to let my, my, my sugar addiction or, or my cravings take over. I'm going to do it anyways. And then you do it and you feel bad about it after. Okay. I promise you it's just that little battle and that little moment. If you can just get by that little battle, it's just you just got to do that and show up for yourself every day and keep doing that. And that itself is going to cause a ripple effect in your life. You're going to become more disciplined. You become more happier. You're going to have way more self-respect and way more confidence just by doing that one simple thing. Okay, stick to your promises, and it will change your life. It will change how you think about yourself, how you feel about yourself, the whole nine yards. Okay, so discipline is built just like any other skill. Okay, it's putting the reps in every single day, sticking to your promises. That's why you don't want to go on an overwhelming plan or anything like that. Something realistic. And pushing yourself every day to improve and do better. Okay, that's how discipline's built. Just keep knocking, 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 putting the reps in, doing it when you don't want to do it. Okay, putting that extra rep in, even when you the last thing you ever want to do, whatever it may be, just going in and getting it done. Okay, and that is the training for today, everybody. On why some of you might feel like you know you know exactly what to do, but yet you still can't lose weight. Usually, it's all about being overwhelmed, too much information. And not sure how to put all that into a plan that you can realistically follow. Or it's just about the mindset stuff, you know, holding back from your old habits, beliefs, whatever it may be. Okay. Remember, if you want to change, you can change. Now, that's why, again, lastly, having a coach, if you're struggling with this, can help dramatically. Because literally, like, I don't know what other coaches are doing, but like, what I do is I take all that stress away from you of you trying to get the plan together, the structure and everything and being overwhelmed. I take all that way. I do every single thing for you. You just got to show up for yourself, follow the plan. Along the way, I'll teach you. I'll show you the habits that you got to build, and I'll keep you accountable to it. And eventually, it's just part of your lifestyle. That is the simplest way I can break that down for you. 
So if you want to do that, if you're willing to show up for yourself, let's say work out maybe three times or so per week, and you're willing to put in the work and you have a strong enough why and why you want to make this change, you need that extra kick on the butt, message me CH and we can see what that would look like for you. Okay. Other than that, I wish you the best of luck this week. I hope this video helped you. If you stay to the end, make sure you leave a smiley face to show that you took action today and keep showing up for yourself. Keep showing up for yourself because if you do not quit, you cannot lose. You will figure it out eventually. If you knock on enough doors, one of them will open. Good luck, everybody, this week, and I'll see you later.